World Health Organization chief says monkeypox is now a global emergency. The head of the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a global health emergency on Saturday, an unusual move that comes as nations grapple with a growing number of people sickened by a once isolated virus. UN Health Agency Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus made the announcement after the WHO's expert committee couldn't reach a consensus on whether to apply the highest level of alert to the virus. The global emergency designation may help spur more investment in combating the disease and in a scramble for scarce vaccines. While a global emergency is the organization's highest alert level, it doesn't always mean a disease is highly transmissible or illegal. Similar declarations were made for the Zika virus in 2016 in Latin America and the ongoing effort to eradicate polio, in addition to the COVID-19 pandemic and the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Gebre Isis decided despite a lack of consensus among experts, calling himself a tiebreaker. It was the first time a UN health agency chief has unilaterally made such a decision without an expert recommendation. There is a clear risk of further international spread, Gebre Isis said in a statement. So in short, we have an outbreak that has spread around the world rapidly, through new modes of transmission, about which we understand too little, he said. For all of these reasons, I have decided that the global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. However, some experts have argued the disease isn't severe enough to warrant attention, in part because most people recover without needing medical attention, although the lesions can be excruciating. Symptoms of the disease begin to appear 7 to 14 days after exposure and include fever, muscle aches, exhaustion, and a rash that can appear on the body. So far, monkeypox deaths have only been reported in Africa, where a more dangerous version of the virus is spreading. A WHO emergency committee decided last month that the outbreak did not at that time represent a public health emergency of international concern, Gebre Isis said in a statement. At the time, 3,040 monkeypox cases had been reported in 47 countries, he said. Since then, the outbreak has ballooned to more than 16,000 reported cases in more than 70 countries. On Friday, the U.S. reported its first two cases of monkeypox in children, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Monkeypox is a growing global concern. While the virus has been found in parts of Central and West Africa for decades, monkeypox began to spread more widely in May as authorities reported dozens of outbreaks globally. As a more dangerous version of the virus spreads mainly in Nigeria and the Congo, the only monkeypox deaths as of now have been reported in Africa, where it mainly spreads to people from infected animals such as rodents. However, in Europe, North America, and other regions, monkeypox is spreading from human to human without links to animals or travel to Africa. LGBTQ leaders say more testing kits, vaccines, and additional health workers are needed to limit the outbreak, which is primarily affecting gay and bisexual men. Monkeypox does not exclusively spread through sex, but some experts worry it could soon become an entrenched disease similar to gonorrhea, herpes, or HIV. Informing men who have sex with men about the virus without causing stigma remains a balancing act because the virus can affect anyone who gets in close contact with monkeypox, regardless of their sexuality. Monkeypox in the U.S. There have been 2,891 confirmed cases of monkeypox in the U.S. as of Friday, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. States reporting cases have received 370,000 vaccine doses. The White House promised a robust strategy to combat the virus, including vaccines, testing, treatments, and communication with impacted areas. Saturday's declaration is a call to action for health officials around the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra said in a statement, adding as a call to action. New York has had the most confirmed cases of any state of 900. California, Florida, Georgia, and Illinois each have more than 100 cases. In New York and San Francisco, demand for monkeypox vaccines has been exceeding the supply providers have available. In Los Angeles, the Department of Public Health offers vaccines by invitation only to people who have a known exposure or are at high risk of one. The federal government plans to release more than 1.6 million doses of the monkeypox vaccine Genios by the end of the year, but demand is so high that the 56,000 doses released in June have almost all been used. 
The vaccine protects against monkeypox, but can also be given after exposure to prevent illness, according to the CDC. Cases have been reported among children, who are described as being in good health and receiving treatment, according to the CDC. How they caught the disease is being investigated, but officials think it was through household transmission.